All right, we should be live. Pretty sure that's what I've clicked on, so. Okay. All good. Everything's looking good. I've got about, say, an hour and a half? Hour and a half. And then tomorrow will be a little bit longer because I've got being Ding dong, yes. I think that is the best way to talk to someone. Ding dong. Like, I wanted to rename Bell Ringer Ding dong, and now I'm going to mute that. Oops. Why does that keep... Alright, fixed it. <laughs> oh no, why'd you lose? That's sad. Oh. Alright. I know I've done a lot of sword in the last couple of days on stream, but it seems to be the only deck that's really pushing me forward at all. <laughs> I hope you're feeling better too, man. Like, I feel bad not having you in the stream. You must die. My quarry won't escape that easy. Okay, so. Uh, I don't know, the pompous just doesn't seem good enough. And of course we draw worse. Oh, that's good. I've been trying to do these a little bit earlier too, so you guys don't have too much trouble with time zone issues. Instead of doing them so late. But I've only got till about 1.30. It's now 11.45, so I've got... Got a couple hours, one an hour and a bit, I guess. <laughs> okay, man. So, yeah, I got a bit of time, and then I gotta go pick my partner up. And then I'll be streaming tomorrow about the same time as now. Jeez. I reckon it would take its toll. I can't kill that. Alright, so to get rid of that, probably gonna be best off using demonic. Actually, I could just ram the vanguard if it doesn't get killed. Ah, it got killed. Alright. Gonna have to trade this off. <laughs> yeah, pretty much a full day, isn't it? Australia is... Well, I'm Australia, so yeah. Australia is, what, the second furthest ahead time zone in time, with New Zealand being first? Because New Zealand's about an hour ahead of us in Australia. And then, I don't know, I'm like 18 hours or something, nearly. Fairly large gap. 17 hours. <laughs> Still quite a large gap. God, I don't like this matchup. Um, if I evolve into that and trade, it's probably going to be pointless. I don't see this matchup ending very well. I haven't dealt enough damage to close out the game early, and we're not going to survive past turn 7 or 8, so... There's a good chance I'm just dead. That's going to be the most likely outcome. That would be pretty scary. Yeah. 
I don't think there's any way I can actually win this game. If I, even if I trade everything here off, I'm still not going to have enough. And I'm dead to roaches pretty easily. So that doesn't surprise me. I suppose that's one way to look at it. <laughs> Population won't grow much bigger than 12 billion anyway. Which is a lot more than we are now. It's close to double, but a lot of... A lot of statistics show that we won't grow much bigger worldwide. But... There'll probably be a big war before that, so that'll cut numbers down too. I'll find that sort of stuff pretty interesting. Rune. This isn't a bad matchup for me. You must die. Now I just need a reasonable hand. Uh, the troopers are not fast enough. I really need a one drop. I think that's the only way we can deal with this. How do you do? Ah, that's perfect. Let's speed that was the best draw I could have got off that. Two early one drops, combo a princess, and then maybe a veteran with goblin for turn three. Sounds like a pretty good turn. Should have been quicker. Nah, and of course. Of course, they have to clear it, so we'll just play the veteran. Mm, goblin, princess, maybe then centaur shortly after, depending on survival. Just need to get this damage out. Mm, that makes things more difficult. May as well go all in. <laughs> That's weird. Maybe try restarting the app or something? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Off and on again, yep, that's the way you want to do everything. Something fucks up. Just turn on and off again. Always the first thing to try. All right, piercing, fine. That's fair enough, I guess. That trade. No one gets past me. My time has All right, I didn't want to do that, but I think we're gonna just throw Albert out. Solid amount of damage. It won't be long now. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> you know, that actually sounds like a lot of fun. You know what? I'm really, I really like you guys. These are both very reliable people. Plus, I haven't had a single mod yet, so this will be alright. Help keep things. <laughs> and we closed out that match. The pleasure was all mine. Oops, don't want Earth Rune. 
It's mod status. <laughs> it basically means like if people are being dicks and stuff, you can kind of kick them and things like that. It'll help later on if the channel grows a lot more. To have a few people who can do things like that. And you two have both been pretty reliable, so... This is a pretty ideal hand. Jeez, Goblin, Princess, and then Novice Trooper. <laughs> Alright, we'll boost that. Might actually drop a Princess and Mentors if we get the chance. God, they, if they're leaving this up, this is going to end really badly for them. Yeah, pretty much. Anyone who's overly offensive, spamming, things like that. I haven't really set much up in the way of a Nightbot or anything yet either. I think I have got a basic, but... Oh, this was like the most ideal hand. <laughs> we need more people in the chat first. That's the first problem we've got to cover. And that's game. See, that's the most ideal hand you want with this deck. Turn 5, have everything get played out, and then just finish the game. <laughs> oh dear. With the way this, oh, I keep clicking on that. That's such an annoying. Cause I had it, I had the sword deck down there before. I keep clicking on that. Don't get your phone wet. Yeah, that that's good. You shouldn't get your phone wet. That'd end really badly. You know, this is the some of the most rune decks I've seen in the last week today. It's like, Rune has steadily been becoming pop more popular again after the whole like week of just everyone countering it. At least in my experience at AA, that's where I've mostly noticed it. <laughs> An early goblin play. And we'll counter it with mine. Ah, oh, that'd be pretty fun. I want to make that deck. I also want to make the Prince of Darkness Haven deck, but I don't have the cards to do that yet. And you would probably have more luck with a Haven deck with Prince of Darkness. It's the only real viable competitive deck. The Prince of Darkness, but. Um, that one, that one. <laughs> oh dear, Dragon just doesn't have enough at the moment. Like, there are some alright builds, but they're not consistent enough. Like, I lose to Dragon pretty consistently, but a lot of other people don't.
you know, one day, one day we'll have like special emotes and one of them will be a potato. I swear that that's my one goal in life is to have a potato emote. It's going to be a good mountain damage. Drop Albert next turn for five. <laughs> you know? Oh dear. I was going to say, um, there's the carrot card from Gourmet Chef. Imagine if they added a potato. Wouldn't that be an interesting card? Alright, I think this is fair enough to just play Albert. Next turn, if they don't clear Albert, we can pretty much push for game. <laughs> oh dear. Well, you used to arrange your little date over there. We'll try and win the game. That would be pretty entertaining to see. You're this is actually really good for me. They have to forcibly clear this Albert. Um, play that. That centaur. It all ends here. Here's how it's done. Make sure they don't have enough in the way of roaches to finish me off next turn. Three cards, four cards. One of them would have to be roach. Me, okay. I think I can deal with that. Um, I'll drop the three. Okay, this will be close. I win off a lot of cards, but I also lose to a lot of cards, so this will be interesting. Put a fairy into your hand. Okay. That's one way to go about that, and that's game. What's that? Three in a row now? Trifecta? The pleasure was all mine. We might do an arena in about half an hour. Just to kind of break up the stream a little bit. That could be pretty interesting. You could make it, yeah, place two zero ones in the deck, yeah. I think if you're playing for a cost of five, maybe you put three zero ones and make them only cost one mana. I think that might be a little better. I think two cost is a little unbalanced and two is quite not enough to do, not enough to disturb the deck. 
I think three, because you can have three of each card, would make a little bit better. Not a bad idea, though. It'd be interesting to see how you could implement that into a deck that stops your opponent from being able to play anything. But it also makes it harder to mill them if you run it in a deck like, like that. Yeah, damage to the player could work too. God, I want to get rid of that thing. But there's not much I can really do against the Vania yet. Yeah. Beneath the grounds, could, something like that could work too. Because that's what I was kind of thinking when you first mentioned that. I was thinking beneath the grounds. Alright, we'll get rid of the Vania. And we'll start dealing our own damage. If this is aggro blood, it's about 50-50 for me. <laughs> And yeah, pretty much. Beneath the grounds, put three in your opponent's deck. Whenever they draw it, summon out a 4-4. Nerubian, I'm pretty sure that's what it does. Which, Mick has posted, posted a leak there, so link, leak, I don't know. Anyway, my English today has just been shocking. Oh, no. That's weird. Oh, this is going to be a painful board clear. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to win off this now. Um, we put through the trade. Hmm, actually. Okay, so we trade that. Evolve the 1 2 and trade that into one of the 1 1s. Clean up the board. And make a nice setup for Compass Princesses and Albert. We're basically aiming for late game now. That's going to be our next option. Is to hit them on turn 9 with an Albert for game, hopefully. We just need to drop them low enough. <laughs> I think he meant you. I don't know. He might have meant me, but we'll see. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm dead. It's going to be too easy for him to do one damage. My code's like here, like always. Oops. I'm dead. <laughs> well, one out of four isn't bad for a loss. Definitely consistent. <laughs> you must die. All right, going seconds, okay. Vanguard's pretty ideal. The 
quick play that you can never go wrong with on first turn. So we drop kick quick blader, we drop maybe vanguard unless we draw something more important. I think that's the way we're gonna have to go. I really wanna get out of AA0 and get into AA1 and hopefully work my way up to master. But I haven't had any luck with any other deck than this. There's too many counters to tempo rune out there at the moment, like too many people playing things like Control Blood and Roach, which can pretty easily kill Tempo Rune at at least a 50% uh, 50 50 rate. How do you get better card back? Um, you can unlock them. Every month there's been two so far. So as long as you're playing enough ranked and earning them, you get those. And then the pre built decks have some. You get one for each one of those that you buy. You did it. I've been checking the Dropbox pretty regularly. I've actually been using a lot of the images. What'd you do? Oh, you made them. <laughs> oh dear. Alright, I'm not too worried about their board. You successfully made food. Now they've got to decide what they want to do. The forest is crying for help. We're together forever. Hmm. You wouldn't. What would be ideal for me here? Second like Albert's not bad. Um I wanna clear the elf princess, it's gonna cost me a lot. So we might just push game early instead. You're done for. <laughs> Oh, adulting isn't as fun as you think it is, is it? Like, I moved out a year ago from home and it's just like, geez. The biggest problem is bills. They never go away. Alright, this should be fine. We can drop the drop the Albert, evolve it, strike for five. Hopefully we don't get killed in the next turn. That's the only worry I've got left. <laughs> Sky Knights, prepare for battle. It won't be long now. A little blood won't stop. Saber strike. Ah! You're right about that. I never had a chance to live alone. I moved straight in with my partner and, well, fiance, I should say. Three, like, we've been together, what, three years? Since we're in college. So I went straight from home to living with her. Oh, Jesus Christ. That thing is terrifying. Lucky we win, but geez. <laughs> All right. Sky Knights, prepare for battle. It all ends here. A little blood won't stop me. <laughs> well, you're in, you're in high school in the US, so I don't know how lucky you could be. That's that is a big question. <laughs> Jeez, that's not too bad. 
It's not too much different to me. I sleep and do whatever I want overall. I don't work due to medical reasons at the moment. And my partner works at least three times a week for a five to six hour shifts. And otherwise I just do this. Stream, create video content. Game, that's about it. I guess you're looking for a fight. Which isn't too bad. <laughs> I'll lead the charge. I suppose that's true in some regard. The only problem I find with US's system is how much colleges and university kind of stuff costs. I messed around with that for a bit, making games and stuff. Uh, living in Australia, there's not many options when you're going to look for a job like that, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, you can't, you can't do rank. Once you reach a rank, like for example, I'm in AA0, you can't actually drop below it once you're in that. You can drop all the way down to the end of the rank, so you can lose points, but you won't actually drop out of the rank. Once you hit the bottom, you just don't lose points anymore if you hit the zero point. <laughs> um, what am I going to do here for this turn? Lay out my hand. But AI, yeah, AI can kind of <laughs> AI creation is pretty interesting. There's so many different parts of the gaming industry, though, when it comes to creation, music, like music and sound work, bloody animation, art design, and then coding. It just encompasses so much stuff. So it depends. I like. Whatever, if you're good at math, coding and stuff's going to be your best bet. That's what I, I did most of my work in when I was in school. I did mostly JavaScript coding, a little bit of C++ and stuff like that. And obviously HTML, which isn't exactly a code, it's more of a language. Which is why it's hypertext markup language. But, it's all pretty fun. And this is going to be close. And there we go. No, it won't be long now. Sorry, you want time to shine. Impressive. Looks like you want. So, one loss in 5 games. Eh. The pleasure was all mine. Mobile gaming is not a bad idea. It'll be interesting to see how that goes though overall. Like, there's definitely a big shift to mobile gaming. But whether that continues in the next four years or not to be as big as it is now, or even bigger, it'll be interesting to see. There's just so many new technologies. Like VR, I can see that taking off, but there's just so many problems at the moment with it. And people don't like change, so it'll probably take a couple generations to really sink in. But if you can get into any kind of industry like that, you'll be pretty set. If as long as you can get the experience, the initial experience, you should do alright. Like living in Australia, the biggest issue I have here. It's a job market. There is no job market at all. Because companies want you to have experience, but you can't get experience without having a job. So it ends up being a complete loop. Faster, I'll lead the charge. 
and then you try and get a job and it's just like nope you're too old because you're over 18 which means they have to pay you more so you can't get entry level work Yeah, you're not wrong. Microtransactions at the moment is the best way. Ethical, probably not, but overall it's not bad. Um, I would argue that no, we haven't, we've nowhere near mastered AI. You're right about that. But we do have AI that can learn. It's not very sophisticated yet, but we do have AI that adapts and learns from things. Give it another couple years and it'll be to a level that will be pretty insane. That's pretty good, man. As long as you can keep up those sort of marks all the way through college, you can probably set yourself up for life. If you can get into a some form of trainee or work program early. Overwatch loot boxes, oh dear. Overwatch is an interesting game with the way they built their structure. I almost think Overwatch would have been better being a free game. And having loot boxes set up as both an earnable and a payable thing. Alright, I hate versing blood. Never win. Steal yourself. Become a worthy knight. Leave this to me. It won't be long now. Brightwing squires, all of you. <laughs> Here's how it's done. Time to shine. Time to shine. Time to shine. You know what I miss? I miss a lot. Diablo 3's Real Money Auction House. If they had have set up a decent economy for it, that could have been a really interesting business. You don't see many games with a Real Money Auction system like that. And it's because it's hard to maintain, but it's interesting. There were some people making a fortune, and then there were some people just making a little bit. And if you can just make enough to cover the game itself, most people would be pretty happy. I hate CSGO's system, personally. That's one thing I do hate. CSGO is not a bad game as a shooter overall. It's pretty basic, I think, which isn't too bad, but... This one's for my family. Yeah, I can see that being true. It didn't really help, though, did it, in the long run. People still ended up cheating. But, oh, they could have made it cheaper at, say, 10 bucks or something as an entry. I don't know. I just think if you're going to buy a game like Overwatch and you're paying a full AAA price for it, you shouldn't be paying too much... too much for extra things like skins and content like that. <laughs> Amazing with cheaters. I don't know. They don't do a too bad a job. A lot of other companies are a lot worse. Need the draw off this. Alright, that'll work out. It's definitely an interesting conversation to have. But unless we worked for the companies, I guess it makes it hard to really discern everything that's going on under the hood. Well, the multiple accounts thing, you can kind of get around if you know what you're doing. <laughs> Probably could have done that a different way. Well, cheaters were a big issue in the end. Overwatch. You're true, you do get all the heroes, which is a very good way to do it.
I just think for $60 for the full game like that, and then when you look at it overall, they had didn't have much in game mode wise, they didn't have much map wise, it was pretty limited. I think you should have got more for your money overall. Like it's a lot better now, I think if you're buying it now at full price, it's not too bad because they have added a lot of good content, they've set up an okay ranking system, all that sort of stuff. I bought it on release and it just, yeah, it wasn't the best thing ever. It was good, and a lot of people loved it, but I found it difficult to enjoy. I got bored with it after a couple of weeks just because there wasn't enough content. Yeah, VPNs, yeah, you can suffer quite heavily from that. Alright, set up turn for Albert and we should be able to win this. But everything that we talk about like this, it comes down to opinion too. A lot of people have differing opinions on things like that. We can only ever base our opinions off our own personal experiences or information that we gain. We should still be able to win this off this. The Albert. I don't like cheaters either. Oh, they quit. I don't like cheaters in multiplayer games. I'm fine with people who cheat in single player games. That's that doesn't faze me. The pleasure was all mine. But if you're playing something that has a multiplayer economy or a multiplayer versus section, cheating just does ruin the experience overall. <laughs> Hey, I'm just glad he's here. I'm glad for anyone who just hangs out and sits here and watches. Want to pull in as many people as we can, why we can. Oh, oh, by the way, I'll give you guys a heads up just in case anyone asks in the future. From March 3rd to March 6th, there'll be video content on YouTube, but there won't be any streams because I'm going away. I'm going away to another place for an anime convention, which is about a three hour drive away nearly. Okay, what do we got here? Probably just a defense. Last for me. Ah, I can't help it. We've been planning this for the last like three months. Due to all my medical stuff, I haven't been to a convention in the last four years. And my girlfriend's never been to one. So we wanted to take the time and go. But don't worry, once that's out of the way, we'll have normal content again. And the videos on YouTube will still go up. I'll make sure I have the whole weekend covered in advance. <laughs> That's a good idea. It's not cheap though to go away, like, jeez. By the time we paid accommodation, trip down there, entry fee. I can't believe how much that's going to cost us. And the Nintendo Switch comes out on the 3rd. Which is the day we go, so I'm probably going to hopefully go to a midnight launch, pick that up at midnight, and then go away on the 3rd in the afternoon. That would be interesting. Um, can't really do much with this. We can clear the 3-4. Probably just play that out. I'm in a bad spot here. I get a feeling like they're playing Control Sword just off the cards they've played, and now I'm screwed. Luffy from one, please. No. <laughs> oh dear. I'm not dressing up for it. I have a few friends who are. The prodigal son has returned. Um, we can clear the 3-4 with the white general. That seems like a waste of potential. 
Alright, I'm gonna save that as well. At least you guys keep the chat interesting. Of course, they play Floral Fencer right when I want to play Floral Fencer, so this completely counters me. I'm probably going to lose this just because they're playing Control and their late game is going to be way better than mine. From this turn onward, I'm going to find it hard to deal damage, so if we don't draw anything big, I'll probably have to concede. Something. I don't know whether we'll win, but we'll try. We get another Demonic Strike and then just randomly turn 9, draw into Albert, and they don't play any wards, we have a chance. That's it. Yeah, no, that's definitely it. Even if I clear those off, I've run out of damage. I'd have to draw out back to back Albert and probably still die because their board presence would be too strong. No point wasting that. Um, I think we'll go and we'll play an arena. Just to break up this video a little bit. No, no Digimans tonight. I'm decided to kind of change how I'm doing that game. It'll mostly be just on YouTube now, if you've watched the last episode. Because the game requires so much training that it just isn't worth doing as a stream. I may as well just kind of do the training side of it and then come on, do a video for, you know, half an hour to an hour video for the YouTube channel. And then post that up with the story content line. He's back. The hello is back. Um, so what am I looking for here? Arena. I've been stocking up on tickets all the time. I barely play. <laughs> barely play arena. Alright, shadow because shadow. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I'm leaning towards the left side because of Odin and Bahamut, but geez, the duelist looks nice. It is only gold, and I probably could get another one later on. Oh, what an opener. <laughs> well, I might do something for it then. I might do a, a an occasional stream of training stuff. But it's just, it takes so much time. I've spent, what, 10, 12 hours in that game already. Between private time and video time. And it's just insane. <laughs> I think we'll take the left. Um, Take the Lurching Corpse. It's a little decent for the early game. It's almost as good as the other card. Playful Necromancer. They're not too bad. I have a rough idea of what I need for this deck. Tender the Knight. Boom it, boom it, yeah. Uh, give the ghost Bane. Uh, I don't like that, that's eight. I think we'll take those two. Goblin and Demonic Strike is quite good. I don't even know any of these cards. Destroy an allied follower, summon a lich. Okay, that's not too bad. Whenever another allied follower is destroyed, gain plus one. No, actually, no, we will leave that one. Um, deal two damage. 
is a ward, so that's kind of okay. And that's another ward with a bit more gain. I think we might lean towards this side a little bit. Ah, uh, we're taking those two for sure. I would hell give Bane to end now, I'd follow her. Well, we've got a couple of those, we'll take this side. Whenever I follow destroy, draw a card, playful necromancers, obviously. <laughs> Extra ghosts. Deal one damage to all enemy followers. Okay. Burial grounds. At the end of your turn, gain one shadow. No, we'll take those two. We've got an okay early game at the moment. Um, I do like them a little more than I like the Spectre. Angelic Snipe, I'll take that instead. And another one of these kind of picks that I don't like any of the real options here. I think we'll take that one. Just because of the ghost is okay. And the final pick. And I can't really toss up between these two. Pact of Nether. Our Tempest is an insane board clear. And that's not bad because it does summon Pluto. Which could work. But then, oh, Deathly tri um, Tyrant, a 13-13 with Storm, but you need 20. And that's actually pretty good, so we will take those. We'll give it a shot. Worst case, we lose. How long have we got left? We've been streaming for nearly an hour. I've got about an hour left, roughly. Oh, maybe not quite an hour. We'll say 45 minutes to 50 minute range, and they'll have to go. But we will be back tomorrow, so that'll be great. About the same time, back on tomorrow, but this time we'll probably stream for two hours, two and a half hours. I've got enough videos till Tuesday on YouTube, so I'm not too worried about that content. Made sure to stock up on videos so I wasn't worrying about those while I was having a good stream weekend. Couldn't ask for a much better hand. Lurching Corpse fits nicely with the Soul Conversion for a clear. I'm very happy with everyone who's in here. Got five people, how happy is that? Fervid Soldier, okay. So we will play Corpse. It's not gonna hurt. Maybe even play a Tendon of the Night next instead. Save the Soul Conversion or Rabbit Negromancer. Peeding dead in hell. Oh, that's sad. I remember when I used to play games with my dad. No. Now he won't play games with me anymore after I beat him at Call of Duty. That was pretty sad. Because I'd hardly touched Call of Duty until what mod the original Modern Warfare, but he was right into him from like Call of Duty three onwards. And then by Modern Warfare two, I was beating his ass, and he was really sad about it. Um, playful necromancer, trade the ghosts. Tempting. Hmm, I think that's what we'll do. It's insane that they got Banner, but I think we're ahead enough that we should be fine. As long as we don't have any internet issues like that other stream last week. I still don't know why that happened. The internet just stopped on my computer. Nothing else went wrong, it was just the computer. I had to do a full reboot. Look at <laughs> Oh, that's pretty good. Hmm. That's not worth playing yet. We'll get rid of that. We might use the Lurching Corpse and the Soul Conversion to get rid of the 4 4. That's not too bad.
I don't know what the opponent could have that would be a threat, but we should be okay. Hmm. Well, that gets a boost, but this gives us an insane place. So, that's kind of shitty, but we can easily deal with it. May as well get this guy out. And then turn 7 we drop under <laughs> Underworld Watchmen and we go for game. Wow. We had a really good hand. I need to start playing arena more often and try and go for like infinite arena runs, but I just don't have enough faith in myself that I'm that good. Speaking of Amelia. <laughs> um, may as well play the commander actually overall. Actually, we win, so it doesn't matter, but. Do you know, she's my favourite character right next to Vania. Like, if I had to put them right beside each other, I don't think I could choose between them. The first deck that I created was Shadow because I just thought she was adorable. Hopefully game two is as good as game one. Prob sister. Well, you never know really, because Vaney is a vampire which would be considered undead. And then Yeah. Luna, I suppose, is very similar in that regard. She's not dead, but she has undead parents. Get your lolly on. Oh dear. Nothing wrong with lollies. Everyone comes in their own shapes and sizes. Lollies are just little and adorable. God, having that turn one is so good. Not oh, turn two, sorry. Because anything that comes off it is quite good. Give Bane to an ally follower makes no difference because that won't work anyway. Um, may as well just play Fighter and the Goblin. And you can't hit anything but the the leader and ward, so may as well keep the lurching corpse. Hmm, we need one more turn before that becomes viable. Take that. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Alright, we need a counter to this. What do you mean, miss? 
I think it's the best way to deal with the board. It sucks that we are putting him into overload next turn, but I think we have enough to deal with it. We've got Odin, so once we do get to turn 8, we can banish pretty much whatever we want. Highway to Hell also is a good way with Bane to kill anything. Alright, that's fair. X equals the attack of the strongest ally. Oh my god. Well, that's shitty. <laughs> of course, I draw both. Um, How can I play this? Well, I can't hit them, so that's kind of pointless. God, I have to use that. This feels bad, man. We do have double lurching corpse though. It's just that we can't use them to ram into them. I've got to hold out for as long as possible. Wow. Hopefully we draw Bahamut and we survive that long. That's my next option. Okay. Odin? Anyone? <laughs> as long as we don't die next turn, which if they have what I think they might have, we are dead. Genesis Dragon. Um, Dragoon Forte. That'll kill us. They're going to use that to trade, aren't they? Okay. Soul conversion would be great. Rabbit's not very good. Can't get rid of this without using the banish, but I need to use the banish on that if I want to stand a chance in this game. I've just got to hope that I can use these. And that they don't have two damage, that's all they need. I've also got Demonic Strike actually, so that could have worked if I drew into that. Where is this for the text game plus two? Okay, that's a pain. Now I'm dead. For sure. Um. I can't strike the 4-3 at all. I can't use these to ram into anything. End of the night's pretty useless. Rabbit Necromancer makes no difference. Hmm. The God of War here reigns. I wish you could evolve these, then be able to ram them. That'd be really good. Mm. Well, at least we get to go visit our mother and father, that's fun. Being dead and all. Well, we just need to win the next three games. Otherwise, we're not going to break very even. This is why I can never play Infinite Arena. And earn enough gold to keep playing. Okay. Mother, father, come on. Come on, good hand. That's not too bad. Dull waste is pretty good. Oh. <laughs> and we got soul conversion. That's going to fit really nicely. So if we can make, what, 20 shadows? Or necromancy, which means we need lots of shadows. Then we can just play it. Oh, so am I. The Taker of Two Flare is awesome. This could 
be an okay game. Even if I'm just playing that as a 3-3 Storm, that might be enough. I don't know if I was getting plus two shadows, yes. Okay, I think that was an alright play. Okay, so that's going to hit the 4-4, four, four, no doubt. <laughs> oh, this is going to be the thing that wins us the game, isn't it? Oh, yeah. And we got the perfect draw. Couldn't have asked for a much better turn. So if they play something, there's a good chance I'll have to evolve, which will gain us another two. If they don't kill this, I'm going to gain another two shadows off another evolve, which will probably be the Commander of Destruction, which will cost us four. So maybe we won't play that. Maybe we might play something else. Alright, they're going to clear us. But we did get the two extra shadows, so that's pretty good. Uh, I really don't want to play that. And it's good, because I can actually do this. We're almost there! <laughs> and 7, we play un Underworld Watchmen. Oh, this is going to be good. That's fine. So we only need three shadows. I don't want to play Commander of Destruction unless I have to. It's going to be close. Oh no. Is it? Oh, it does work. Thank God. I was like, hopefully not. Two more is all I need. Um, I use that last word to deal one damage to all enemies. I can clear off that. I just gotta hope they can't heal. Alright. This will be interesting. The big play. One shadow. If they don't heal up. Oh, that's good. There we go. That's game. Whew. I knew this thing would come in handy. It only took a lot of setup. <laughs> I did it! I won! Match four. Whew. All right, sword. Mother, father, come on. You must die. Aham, it's way too late. <laughs> oh, geez. If we have to do that all again to win this game, that's going to be a pain in the ass, but it'll be entertaining.
So if we can draw turn one, that'd be ideal. But I don't reckon we'll draw it. Nope. We do have the Lurching Corpse and the Resurrection combo. It's a really good combination of cards. But looks like we're not even going to need that. Hmm. No, that could work. Guarantee the kill on them. And set up another turn. You predict Amelia. Oh, I don't know. This is a good play for me. Getting rid of that floral fencer is awesome. They probably are going to have another one though. But we'll see. Strengthen yep. Together. Why would you play the floral fencer if you didn't end an Albert? Oh, it's bad enough they've got this. If they have an Albert on top of that, that's not going to be good. Not going to be good at all. Deathcaster, whenever a follower evolves, gain plus two. So, I think that's what we'll go with. That should help us gain something. Hopefully they don't kill off the 2-3. I reckon they will. But I can hope they won't. I would like to be able to use Deathly Tyrant. Good, they went face. Maybe an Outlaw's Command. Okay. Ah, Sea Queen. Makes sense. It won't be long now. now. where are they trading this? Watch me, Uncle Hina. Ah, right there. Damn it. Oh, that's not good. That doesn't feel good at all. This is my only good option left. We trade into the Odahime, getting rid of that. We kill off the 4-1. Leave up the 3-2 because it's already evolved, so we don't have to worry about any shenanigan plays later. God, what a combo. Have Odahime and the commander. Don't think I'm going to be able to survive. Oh, this might make a difference though. So, trade that there. That can't trade into anything. Get rid of that. And go face. Okay. That's something. I don't know what else I could have really done. Other than play Trident. Tyrant, which I don't want to do yet. Oh, it's not Amelia. Wouldn't it be epic if you could just Bahamut this early and just be like, Go away! <laughs> oh my god. Only that got its effect. Ah, damn it. Alright, so two losses. Sword is definitely quite strong, isn't it? So I guess that's not that surprising. Final take two and we'll jump back into a bit of ranked with our Swordcraft deck and we'll just finish that up. Try and get some more rank.
13, 13 rush, yep. That's it, I didn't have many other options. And it wasn't going to make a difference, so... May as well play it. Mother, father, come on! You must die! Hmm. That's not good enough, and we will keep that one. And we got a good draw. Alright. These aren't too bad. I don't think we're going to try and aim for Tyrant this time in this game. I think we'll just aim to deal with the board best we can. Because I have a bad feeling about this. Having two vanguards in your opening hand as a sword player, you can't really get much better. Oh, you have that as well? Jeez. I think they have nearly the perfect aggro sword build. Play that. Trade and kill, I think. Try and see if we can pull anything at all that would be usable. Necro Elemist, uh, Element, Element, Elementist, I don't know. Yeah, Swordcraft in Arena, not good. Three Swordcraft matches and we're going to lose. I don't see a way out of this. This is punishment for me playing sword all the time lately. <laughs> I'm sure it is. Divine Retribution. This flag is our homeland. I'm on my way, Princess. You are done for. Okay. Together we're this way, soldiers, this way. I'm actually pretty okay with this. They are going to deal 5, which is pretty big. But we're going to nearly clear the board. Actually, we will clear the board. I don't know whether that's going to be the turn that swings it around for us or not, but we're going to try at least. Maybe drop Commander of Destruction for a big ward. Okay. Well, that's gone. Actually, if I had thought about that, I should have ran the Lurching Corpse, but... That should be fine. Nah, we'll get rid of it. I think this is a worthwhile play. We can die to so many things, but we're gonna try. As long as they don't have a spell to kill us, we're in with a chance. And yeah, construct the deck in arena, pretty much. Alright. That's fine. I'm only going to play un under Underworld Watchmen, so... That's not a big issue. We might even evolve this, just to make it huge.
Could have dealt two, but it would have made a difference, I guess. Alright, this is going to be close. They're either going to have what they need to answer this, or I'm going to win. I don't see many other options. The only other answer is to do a full board clear. Which I'll heal up off anyway, no doubt. And yeah, that turnaround was pretty sick. This thing made the, all the difference. Along with... Well, that didn't make too much difference overall, but... Still pretty good. And then the Underworld Watchman. Can't go wrong with him for turn 7. I don't think my opponent has no play, or has any play. May all life prosper and be blessed. <laughs> okay. That's still game. For sure now. Thank God. Well, at least we went 3 2, so that's not bad. Let's grab our rewards and be happy with them. Ah, 70, yeah, that's okay. I'll take it. What else have we got here? Score reward. Files. Yeah, we'll open a pack. Back to opening standard packs. I need more standard stuff. Still missing quite a few of the legendaries that I want to build. The control decks. Absolutely nothing. That's actually a pretty cool looking card though. Hmm. Not very good because it's only like destroy a follower and draw a card. Dance of Death is better and it's neutral. Alright, we'll get rid of whatever's whatever extra there is. Play a few more games for the next 15 odd, 20 odd minutes. Luckily for Australia, it's not the most hottest day ever. Well, the most hot, the hottest day ever today. God. I swear, if I don't think about what I say sometimes, my sentences are just terrible. Makes me sound like an idiot. Definitely playing the veteran. The only thing we can play. Turn three, another trooper for sure. Ah, uh, well, that might change my mind a little bit. That's fine. We lose out on one damage, but we get to keep these two for turn four as another board filler, which is pretty good. Not too worried about the Ogla. The battlefield awaits. 
speed things up. You're done for. Make it hard to get rid of this quick blader. There's no time for you to slow. <laughs> I love the cold as well. I'm just amazed. Who's as old as You're done for. It's just like back in the old days. I don't even know what temperature it is here right now, but it's not too hot. It has to be somewhere around 20 degrees Celsius, roughly. Which I don't know what that converts to. Never really had to worry about Fahrenheit. Hmm. I think of a way around this. I'm all out. That should be fine. <laughs> I'm just amazed. Who's as old as dirt? It won't be long now. Twenty two degrees like Celsius. Seventy one degrees Fahrenheit. With a 54% humidity. That's the worst part for me. I hate humidity. And then it's meant to be... 24-ish tomorrow. That's not too bad. Better than being 30-odd degrees Celsius, that's for sure. And I reckon that would be my game. Yeah. The battlefield awaits. It won't be long. I, I live, okay, I live in Tasmania, which is why the humidity tends to be quite high. Because it's a pretty tropical-ish well, tropical climate. I lived in Queensland for a while, on the coast of it, and it's like, they had hardly any humidity. It was just raw heat. So you get to about 40 degrees, and it wasn't, it was hot, really hot obviously, being nearly 40 degrees, but it's more 35-ish, but somewhere around there. And it's nowhere near as bad as Tassie's humidity at 30 degrees. The humidity makes you so hot and so dizzy. It's horrible. But 50% 50, 50 isn't too bad when you're only at 20 odd degrees Celsius. You can deal with that humidity pretty well. Plus, I'm going to go for a walk, which is like another 2k. That's going to be fun. And then I'm going to McDonald's and having some food, which is another like extra k plus. Actually, it's probably another nearly 2k. Hmm, when this outcome finally finishes. I've never lost a game because of this. Yeah, pretty much. Tassie's a little island off the bottom of Australia. So yeah, very similar to Hawaii. I think, uh, I don't know. I wouldn't say our climates are similar. I'd say they're kind of reversed, where Hawaii has quite nice weather most of the time, where Tassie has quite shitty weather most of the time. The pleasure was all mine. Like, if I had to rank our summer and winter periods, I would say winter's about five months in total where the temperatures are quite low and it's quite rainy and horrible. Well, not horrible because I like it, I like that weather, but a lot of people consider it horrible. And then our summer really is like late December, so really late December, until about now, the start of February. It will start to drop off sharply about mid-February. So it's not quite three, it's, no, it's not quite three months, it's more about two, two and a bit months. And then it will, uh, straight after that, you know, the in-between seasons aren't very much. No, I'm pretty sure it's not a volcano-made island. I can't say for sure because I don't know for a fact. But I'm pretty sure it's just broke off, a broken piece from the bottom of Australia, like completely it just snapped off and floated away. Like obviously a long, long time ago. But I'd have to look it up to find out for sure.
for sake. Let's see which, what Wiki has to say about it. <laughs> yeah, well. Hawaii will eventually sink. That would be interesting. Because it also separated from Antarctica. Because all of that used to be connected. By the looks of this hist like geological history, it doesn't mention Volcano anywhere. So I'd say it's not. At least not your traditional Volcano Island, but... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because like if if you look at all the Hawaiian island areas, they've slowly been sinking over time. There's three islands that used to be where Hawaii, like where Hawaii is. There are three other smaller islands that are all underwater, and there's actually another one that's like popping up or something. It's really interesting. And Mordecai is pretty cool. But like I've said before, I'm not. I don't know everything. I could. There are points that I could be wrong on. I'd have to do really thorough research to find out for sure a lot of things. But I do spend a lot of free time watching informational videos and reading informational crap. But you are done for. Armor weapons. Never know. Plus, Hawaii won't sink anytime soon, that's for sure. Like, it won't be in our lifetime, it probably won't be in our kids' lifetime. It'll take a, a long time before it gets to that point. We'll go with that one. It won't be long now. This deck just does so well, and it's so mindless to play. Which is good when you want to interact with people and not pay attention to what you're doing. <laughs> Assumptions make the world go round. Yeah, I suppose that's mostly true. <laughs> Still, I do like to know the basics of most things, at least. I'm very heavy on facts, should control most, like, most everything. And not just any facts, like, you know, stuff that's peer-reviewed, that have had multiple studies done on a lot of things. Things that can't easily be changed. Oh, that's annoying. Why would they play that? Um, I can clear it now and hopefully set myself up, but it's going to be a pain in the ass. I think this will be fine. And talking about the world going sideways... One day, we're gonna leave the bloody gas cloud of our galaxy and that's gonna end badly. Or most likely end badly. Oh, this is this is not good. This is not good at all. <laughs> um, what do I draw? A second demonic strike for game? I think it's about it. Uh, Albert, why would you do this? I think. Yeah, I think I have to. I gotta stop it from having ward. Well, I hope so, but the estimates aren't looking good. The gas cloud stuff is, like, the estimate's ridiculous. It's something like in the next 20 years or the next 20 million years. It's some ridiculous estimate like that. 
That's why I don't like that sort of thing. But if only, if only I could strike that. But I've lost this one. I thought I had this game in the bag. And then they played that nep and got like the most insane combo off. Wow. That's depressing. Um, what will you try for a minute, maybe? Ah, uh, we'll keep going with the sword. Why break a streak? Oh, I know, man. That's what I thought. That's quite the range. It's like, they know it's going to happen, but they're basically saying, hey, this could happen, you know, nearly tomorrow or, you know, never. Alright, see you, man. Hmm. That made my hand a lot better. Let's speed things up. Too slow. Veterans too good. Something awesome. Something awesome like they predict the earth and the sun shooting off in different directions and ending really badly. <laughs> I suppose it'd be awesome to the fact that, you know, we'd probably be the last people ever, but... That's only one prediction for what could happen. Nothing could happen. It's just one of those things. That sort of stuff is interesting. I like science. But then again, there could be a world war in the next eight years before that even comes anywhere near close, and that could kill us all. Let's speed things up. We'll use that guy. Why not? I'll lead the charge. I'll lead the charge. The symmetry is real, yeah. Too slow. Too slow. Too slow. Now we got a full house. Three bladers, two vanguard. You keep relying on me, Spasm. Be gone. As long as we've got each other. All right, Albert, come on, Albert. Oh, you're not an Albert. Alright, we've managed to knock him down far enough that it shouldn't be a problem to actually win this. Oh, well, that's a huge problem. I didn't expect them to drop a 5 9. Oh, Albert's my answer. Come on. No, not Albert. I reckon they could beat me with this. This is going to be really sad. Because now, yeah, now they're healing, so that damage is completely pointless. I nearly should have just pushed them forward and killed the ward. Oh, three of them in a row, Jesus. It just sucks. I needed a dance of death or something. That would have done it too. I could have finished it off and just killed him. Time to say goodbye. Score. Oh my god. This is terrible. <laughs> Why would this do this to me? Dragon's become so popular lately. Oh, now I get out of it. Yeah. One turn before I could actually use it. I actually probably just misplayed hugely. I probably shouldn't have played it, but... We got a second one in there. So, maybe we'll get that. Oh, 
Oh, that was bad. I shouldn't have played that. I really shouldn't have played that. Oh, okay, it wouldn't have mattered. They were going to play Lucifer. What now? Nothing. God, I hate dragon. I hate dragon, I hate blood when playing this, when playing sword in particular. I don't hate them as classes, I just hate them as opponents. Alright. Not dealing with that. My good looking score, why would you do this to me? Alright, we're gonna play Seraph for probably our final game. I've got about half an hour, it's about a 20 minute walk. I've gotta get my bag and stuff with the drink in it and that take. But hopefully we can end on a high note with an epic Seraph play and just win. Plus, the good thing is, my 3 o'clock video will come out before I come back. Is fighting and despair all you know? Time for me to prove myself. Hmm, Decree, Beast Call, and Priest. We'll keep the Beast Call and Priest. By the way, man, that Dropbox with all those images is the best thing ever. I can't thank you enough for that, it really is good. They make great thumbnails. And with how many you've added to it, geez. This might end badly. Can't drop priest yet. Might as well just drop that. We need the Seraph, that's going to be handy. But we got to survive, which is going to be the problem. Because if this is Roach, we're pretty much dead. But this has been my problem, you know? I'll switch classes and then I'll get the worst matchup for that class continuously. Now switch to a different class and get the same, the same thing. <laughs> Oh, it's definitely helpful. Your evil deeds end now. You are done for. I see always. Actually, what is the YouTube channel at at the moment? I think last time I looked we were at about 270 subs. That's got me curious now. Let's see. 275 and 30,000 total views. That's pretty good. <laughs> I suppose that's pretty true. Alright, we need to heal up. Set up a defensive. We've had almost 200 subs in the last month. Jeez. Considering I've had this YouTube channel since like 2012 or something, I've just hardly done anything with it. And then, you know what the most... The most frustrating thing in the world is, I originally used to go by the name just Dragoose, you know, no blaze at the end, nothing. And then, people started stealing it, and then this company stole it, and now it's ridiculous. Because I would say Dragoose is pretty original, you know, there's not much that, you know, it could be copied from it. I come up with it back in the release of the PS3 when it first came out. So what's that, 2006, 2007 range? Something like that? And at that time, there was no one else using that name at all. You know, and then 
a few years later, this YouTube channel popped up that was using just Dragoose as a term. I was like, really? So that was before I decided to actually open YouTube channel stuff back then. And now, like, a few different things have used it. And it looks weird because I'm the one who has to use the variant. I should have saved an evolve, that would have made a big difference here. <laughs> That's actually a pretty good one. Oh. Open your eyes. I think I'm dead. Uh, we're gonna try at least five here. No, um, I went off. I don't know whether you've watched Beyblade. The original one was Dragoon. And I just wanted to change it up a little bit, so I changed the end to an SE and came up with that, and I thought it was funny. So I just went with it. But yeah, I thought it was pretty original, so. And like I said, no one else. Nowhere I had seen anything online of people using it prior to using that name when I created it. And then after that, a few things popped up a couple years later. And then I decided to actually build a channel in 2012 and kind of got taken there. So. Pain. Wow, that's annoying. Because if I heal with that, I'm going to have to because I can't risk it. I'm worried about roaches. Roaches are probably going to kill me. My most popular video is Agro Runecraft. That kind of is depressing. And then Control Sword. Wow. I get much more depressing than those. And I'm dead. Maybe a double roach. No, actually that won't kill me either. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Alright, return, replay Roach. The only thing that's